James Bond is back, and companies such as Belvedere Vodka, Gillette Shavers and Heineken have paid undisclosed sums for product tie-ins with Spectre in sponsorships that one marketing specialist says a cinema's version of the Olympics. A day after the world premiere of Bond's 24th outing on the silver screen, brands and businesses associated with 007's adventures are already celebrating their tie-ins. Jacques de Coq, a marketing consultant and lecturer at the London School of Marketing, said the MI6 agent's fictional appeal was clear. Bond, Bond himself is a bad boy with style, with tech savvy and has morals. So anyone can, can see parts of what they want. The techno nerd like it, the women like it, the bad boys like it, the women, the older generation likes it. So it has a bit of everything. De Kock credits Barbara Broccoli, franchise producer and daughter of James Bond movie legend Albert Cubby Broccoli, with Bond's now lucrative contracts. Barbara Broccoli apparently has been working on branding Bond now for the last 30 years and is very careful to curate the right types of brand. I think they had Caterpillar one time. I don't think they have Caterpillar anymore. Uh, and they want a brand that actually enhances the Bond brand as well. And also creating this mythology helps both because Bond is now more exclusive and then brand therefore have to work harder to be part of Bond. So, so they get more money out of it. De Kock said the half-century-old Bond franchise is cinema's marketing equivalent of the Olympics. He estimates Bond movies have earned some £11 billion in 2015 prices at the box office, and another £2.6 to £3.2 billion from marketing since Dr No in 1962. Although figures are not divulged, de Kock said the marketing and promotional activities associated with a modern Bond movie could run to £150 or £200 million, or roughly the cost of making it. Olympics comes close. Uh, the, the marketing and the co-marketing of the Olympics is close in terms of branding, in terms of revenue, no. I, I don't think there's any franchise. I looked at Star Wars, I looked at Harry Potter's. They actually make more per movie, but they're only seven or eight movie long in terms of franchises. It's the longevity and the depth combined that makes Bond unique. Being a sponsor allows companies to show Bond-themed adverts, as both Gillette and Heineken are doing, or to mount lavish drinks parties, featuring Belvedere martinis, as the Spirits Company did on Tuesday night, to celebrate the film's British premiere on Monday. It's the vodka brand's biggest ever promotional sponsorship, and something Belvedere president Charles Gibb said was necessary in 2015. You know, today marketing is very, very different to what it used to be many, many years ago. And, you know, being talked about in popular culture is so key. And of course, this is just a cultural moment. The release of a Bond movie is a cultural moment. The release of Spectre is a passion point for so many people in so many countries. So to be talked about at that time is just, you know, is just tremendous for a brand like Belvedere. Heineken's premium brands director in the UK, David Lett, agrees that Bond's appeal is exclusive. The brew reportedly paid £18.3 million for its sponsorship, or around a third of Spectre's entire production budget. They signify the similar kind of uh, things as well, basically in terms of being witty, being resourceful, being confident and being really aspirational. So I think there's a fantastic tie-in with Heineken and James Bond. Uh, the Heineken brand um, exists in 170 markets and we're activating the Spectre um, movie in 85 markets. So a real global reach, which I think is very beneficial to the Bond franchise and obviously uh, that's great for Heineken as well. One brand that can attest to longevity with Bond is Aston Martin. The carmaker's chief creative officer, Marek Reichman, said that while association with Bond was part of the company's heritage, synonymizing itself with a popular culture icon brought with it opportunities to be more forward-looking for consumers. I think for us, because Aston Martin is very much a trendsetter, so it's, it's important to stay ahead of that curve, it's important to understand it, and trend or culture or the nature of buying something is about desire. So for us, it's about creating desire through association, through technology, through great looks. I mean, we, we have a mantra of power, beauty and soul. The beauty part is what you're looking at. And that is a timeless beauty, but you've got to add technology to that as well. And part of that technology is, is having a thought for what people actually want in their sports cars of the future. For some brands like Gillette, the Bond sponsorship is new with this film. But for brands like them, it's a chance to move away from other more closely associated promotions like sports. But not everyone who benefits pays to be seen in or associated with Bond. The green dress and hexagonal earrings that Leia Sado wears to an intimate dinner with Bond on a luxury train have been plastered on billboards and buses across London without anyone paying for sponsorship. British-based Ghost produced the £225 slinky Salma dress that the French actress Sado wears to a late-night dinner that takes a familiar Bond-shaped turn. The dress and a pair of diamond dust earrings Sado wears, produced by the London-based jewellery firm David de Jong, 
were simply bought from shops by costume designers for the film, both firms said.